Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Let's go here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we'll return to our house building project to work on a house and to plus it and enhance its details. So we're above on the Scarland transportation system, taking a look at our house from above. We haven't taken a look up here since our initial first episode. So you can see a lot of progress has been done. So let's get into today's episode. <music> All right, there we go. Welcome down to the mainland, and there's our house out in the distance, looking very beautiful. And we've got a little bit of a rain coming down, so hopefully that stops pretty soon. All right, so let's get this episode underway, and we'll be, like I said, working on the detail of the house, trying to enhance it and give it a little bit more character. So in the last episode, we you know we made the windows that brought a lot of more detail to it, but I think this next round of enhancements will be. Hello there, Mr. Green Sheep. Add a lot more detail and a lot more charm. So one thing I did in between episodes was redo the entrance to the house slightly. As you can see, I raised it up one block. We'll get to why I did that in a moment, but it'll come evident and apparent very soon why it's a much, much improved thing. So as you can see over here also that I filled in the side of the house. Now we're going to do what I think the appropriate term is called a belly band across here. What we'll do is we'll take uh, stone stairs and we'll go across here and make a nice little uh, decorative detail there that kind of will break up the monotony of the side of the house. And right here we're going to do a pole of cobblestone straight up here to give this area a little bit more detail. So let's get started over here. Now like I said before this area was a little bit too short, so I brought it up one block. And what I did here, why I did this, mind you, is to give this window above here a little bit more of a presence. It was a little sandwiched in, it was a little odd before, but what we're going to do here is make this look a little bit nicer. So one block above that, we're going to come out here like that and come up here. So this is what my idea was to give this area a little bit more of a presence. Now people talked in the comments and gave me some suggestions about how improving this entrance way. So that's what I've been thinking about since the last episode. And this is what I come up with, what I came up with. So I hope you guys uh, think this is the appropriate uh, improvements to this area, of course. So you can see now that window has a block below it and a block above it to kind of give it a little bit of space before it was kind of sandwiched in there and it just looked a little bit odd. So I think that looks pretty good. All right, so let's place a little bit more blocks along here just to try to give it a little bit more of a placement. There we go. I think that's starting to look pretty good. So let's just come out here like that. Nice, nice. Let's do the same on the other side. And like I said, this is just my favorite part of doing these builds, you know, making the structures fun and making the rooms inside. But I really like coming back to something you know you've pretty much already completed and really trying to enhance it and add more detail to make it better than it was before. All right, so I'm going to do another one of these up this side. And I'm going to make a little bit of some scaffolding along here for me to stand on. And then I'll come up here. So this is a good way to look at your build that you're working on and think to yourself, how can I enhance this and make my build even better than it was before? So I hope these enhancements that I'm doing are actually doing what I'm saying, you know, enhancing it and not making it worse by any way, but I think it is an improvement of what we're doing. Okay, just fix this real quick. There we go. Okay, and then we'll just bring this pole up. Fix that. Oops, oh, oh, start mistake. There we go. All right, there we go. There, ah, I think that looks nice. Now next, I was thinking we could do another one of those bands that we talked about doing on the side of the house across here. Whoa, wish this rain would stop. It's really distracting me. Okay, oh, whoa, see the rain? It's, good. it's got my hands all slippery and I'm slipping the blocks out of my hands. Ah. All right, there we go. And then we'll just fill in right there. There, I think that's starting to look nice. Let's just come over here, drop down. We're gonna have to clean up all this extra scaffolding in a moment. Okay, there we go, coming about. Nice, nice, I wonder if maybe we could just do one more with the 
There we go. I think that looks good. So let's just jump on over here and do the same on this side. So let's just line this up, make sure we're doing everything appropriate. There we go. Good. So like I said, I usually do these episodes pretty much on every build. Once you know you've, you've finished what you're doing, you know, the main area of it, and you come back and look at how you can enhance it. I did this with the tree farm. I did this with my super awesome, or no, it wasn't super awesome. It was the hardcore series where I enhanced the building or the house we were building once. Now this just looks a little bit different. What did I do differently here? Hold on. As you can see, there's two blocks there, but we're on the same plane. So why, what am I doing wrong here? Hmm, something is not right. Let's see here, what am I doing wrong? Let's put that back like that. Oh, all right, I think that's probably okay. Not sure what I was doing wrong there. Oh, all right, I don't know, who knows? Okay, so let's just clean this up real quick, and then we'll take a look from the ground. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this looks like. Let's see, we're gonna have to fix that. Hold on, one second. We'll just put a solid block here. We're having a bit of a. We're gonna get a leak in there, and we're gonna get our floors all wet. No, we don't want that. We don't want that at all. There we go. All right, let's just clean this up. Nice. So I'm not exactly sure what this will look like from down below. So let's just jump on down here and take a look. So let's see here. What do we got? Oh, I like that. I think that's starting to look pretty nice. Yeah. All right. I think we're starting to do good. So like I said. We're improving it, and in the comments, some people were, were telling me about different scales and things like that. And one of the things was some of the windows were a little bit out of scale. As you can see above, I've shrunken the windows a little bit there, and I'm thinking about making the dormer windows slightly smaller. It's just a thought for now. There was some talk about you know being a little out of scale, and I agreed with that. So that's what we've been working on, trying to make the house look a little bit more in scale and proportion-wise. Okay, so let's come over here and do the same thing we just did on the other side. Let's jump up here. This sure, this, this, you know, this, uh, this rain, you know, just reminds me of home right now. <laughs> it looks like outside right now. Always raining. All right. All right, I live in a very rainy climate. Okay, put that right there. Nice, there we go. Oh, there we go. The sun is shining. It looks very beautiful. Very nice. There we go. All right. So let's see what we can do maybe with putting like another half slab under here and then put one right there. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, I hear a spider. Oh my God. It's that green sheep again. He follows me wherever I go. It's constantly haunting me. I was when I was increasing the height of the entrance way, he was inside the house and I walked in there and he was staring at me from there just like he was doing a minute ago. Oh, you green sheep, you were, you were freaking me out, bro. All right, let's just do the same on this side. And you stay away from Gertrude. Gertrude gets scared of spooks. Okay, so let's just come over here, break that up like that. Let's put up our little platform there. And fill it in like a so. There we go. All right, going down. Okay, sweet. Now we'll just fill this in. I think we need to knock that out and place a solid block there. And we'll put a half slab there and come across with another row, whoops, of half slabs. There we go. I think this looks quite nice. We'll flip on over there, fix our scar mistake there we go okay oh oh we need to fill in right here nice there we go perfect so let's take a little look at it from a distance oh i think that looks really nice i think the house has a great deal more detail and it's a little less just like big walls going across so i think that is a huge improvement to the look of our house now your guys's opinions are always welcome and appreciated on how we can continue to improve this so let's jump on over here and put that band of stairs across the top over here too so let's just jump on over here like that put that up like that you know something interesting i noticed recently i had no idea as 
I found out that when did Minecraft change the inventory key or has it always been like that? I'm just really confused because I was teaching somebody how to, the keys worked on Minecraft and I'm like, and E or I is your inventory. And they're like, no, it's E. And I was like, no, that's weird because I has always been my inventory key. So it's just kind of weird to, you know, get into your inventory. Mine has always been I and it's been that way for since, gosh, pre-beta. I wondered if did they change it or is did at some point did I change it? It's an interesting question. Okay, so let's see how we want to accomplish this. Where do we want to start the board? Do we want to start it up here? Whoops, we actually want it to face the other way. Do we want it to face right there or do we want it to come off of right there? Hmm, that is the question. That is the question. Let's see, let's knock these off. Let's cut into our house a little bit. Find out where the stair actually ends. Okay, so let's say, let's actually do it. So if that's the floor, let's say we do it here. There we go, we'll do it there, one below the actual floor. So when we open this up and do windows and things, there'll be a slight, you know, a little bit of a space in between. I think that'll look nice. All right, so let's just finish this up in super fast build mode. All right, end of super fast build mode and as I was coming out of it and getting ready to restart doing some building, I noticed I could add a little bit more detail around our dormer windows. So I added another piece of cobblestone going up. So I think we're gonna do that on the other side. But before we do that, there's also another slight enhancement we can do here. So let's just put a spoof or a half slab and a stair step like that kind of adds a nice little look right there. So let's just do the same on this side. So we'll just fill in right there and there and place the stone step there and one more there. Perfect. Nice. I think that adds a nice little touch to this area. So let's just put in another piece kind of right there and we'll do one on this side. Nice. There. I think that adds a nice little touch to both sides of the house. So let's head on over to this side and take a look at our domo window and think about how we can enhance it. So we have this way where it's kind of plain like this, but we can slightly enhance it with some cobblestone on the sides. So let's just come over here. We'll knock out this piece there and bring it up on the side. So let's just move on over to the other side over here and do the same. Then we'll jump back and kind of get a, a look at it, see what you guys think of it. There we go, okay. So let's head on over. Back on to our pole here. Yeah, it's right in the middle. <laughs> uh, where are you? Where's my elevator down? There we go. All right, going down. There we go. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So let's jump on over here. Give ourselves a little bit of a distance and then take a look. Wow, I, I think that looks pretty good. I think we did a good job here today. We did a lot of work. We added a lot of more detail to our house. Now we'll continue to evaluate the dormer windows. As you can see, this one has a few um, extra stair steps sticking out and the other one doesn't. I'm trying to get an idea of which one looks best. So that's why I didn't do the one on the other side, but we can keep looking at it, see what one we like best. But let's take a little tour around the house. Now, as you guys could see, there's our creepy green sheep who follows us around, but you can see a lot of extra land out in front. What I'm gonna do here is build just the most amazing gardens out here. I have quite a few ideas that I think will make this area look really nice. Something about when you do add the final touches, the landscaping around the house, it really adds a lot to what you're building. It finally kind of accomplished, you, you kind of feel accomplished that you finally finished what you're building and really puts the finishing touches on it. Once we go back up there, we're gonna fill that in with some more cobblestone up there as I did here and there. 
So as we head around this side, over here I'm thinking about doing off our kitchen side right here, doing a greenhouse where we, we have some potatoes and some carrots and things like that on this side. And isn't this the most amazing view coming out here? As you can see all the sugar cane nicely growing in. And way out on yonder is a cool little island. I'm gonna put a, put a waterfall up there. I think that'll look nice. And I enhance these trees over here. As you can see, these are birch trees, but they're a lot taller than a normal birch from Minecraft because birch trees in the real nature are quite tall and skinny. I can't really make them skinnier, but I can make them taller. So I think they look pretty good and add a nice little uh, enhancement to our land. Now here we're gonna do a back patio. So off the patio, we're gonna have a barbecue and things like that, and then a nice pool over here. Now I'm currently evaluating different pool ideas, maybe kind of an ovalish pool or something maybe with like a water slide. The possibilities are endless. Now on this side, I'm not quite sure what I wanna do here. Maybe some topiaries, some nice pathways, something like that. So this has been Good Times with Scar and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. It always means a lot and if you guys believe this video deserved a rating of some sort or you believe this video might be enjoyable to one of your friends, why don't you share it with them? That would be awesome. And well guys, this has been Good Times with Scar and we'll see you later. Well, hello there my fellow miners and crafters. Good Times with Scar here bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we will create some dormer windows on our house to really make our house have a lot of uh, detail and charm. So let's get this episode underway.